Welcome back, everybody. This is Bendelin Plays Games, I suppose. Um, with <laughs> <laughs> I, again, with Scriptar um, as uh, the British Raj, and Tank as Australia, and I'm playing South Africa, or the Cape Commune. And we're about to, um, well, declare war on the Allies, probably. Uh, we, we fixed the little issue we had in the last episode where I for some reason couldn't join the uh, faction that Australia and America are in um, but by reloading the game between episodes it just magically works so the Paradox old, magic win yeah Windows magic turn, turn it off and on again and it works mm -hmm. so um, yeah let's, let's do this I suppose okay I'll hit play sounds like a plan I did send over my 7th division strong army to the east front here in, uh, in South Africa to go against this part of Portugal and actually have my marine division set up to take this little part of Portugal over here those two this uh what, which is this island actually called Lesser Sunda on Portuguese Timor I have an elite mountaineer division how's that Perfect. Got that through my focus tree. <laughs> Completely forgot about those. Very nice. Ah. Also trying out this spearhead maneuver. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I don't really care. I did that well, in it Japan. It seems like I have abandoned the whole front. Except the for Netherlands have oh, joined the Allies. Scaling. Perfect. German Reich declares the war against the Netherlands. Just so crushing. We just need to wait for them to... Oh yeah, that's gonna be pretty soon. Yep. Look at that. They're pushing in the south. Nothing is working. Germany is pushing in the northeast. That's working. That's gonna be soon. Yeah. Then I can go with the uh, focus tree. The Russian invasion has been repelled in northern Germany. Where the hell was the focus tree? There it is. And Germany is pushing into Russia. Fall of Kiev. Fall of Kiev. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the Soviet Union is going to capitulate rather did, soon. Did they land there? They did Someone a naval actually, invasion. Yes, in the Black Sea. You oh, see yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Germans, nice. It's not going anywhere really there, but yeah, sure. Italy. Close pursues, bonds. Close yeah, the bonds. Yeah, yeah. They're already in a faction. Stop that. Stupid. So, so. You, you have your war goal? Uh, yeah, just give me one second. I need to re reorganize research and no stuff. No worries, no worries. My troops are on the way anyway, so it's gonna take them a couple of cool. days till they're there. Give me that. Why not? Hello, race autonomy. Thank you. I'm Dominion now. <clears throat> and Democratic. <clears throat> Dominion and Democratic? You wanna join my faction? Oh, I can't. Second. You're still in a faction. I could go fascist if I wanted. No. <laughs> yeah, sure. Go. Yeah. All right, so I'm now... Oh, that's a bit late, but fair enough. <clears throat> Change my flag. I'm the Dominion of India now. Thank you, come again. <laughs> you want some lice? <laughs> that's the wrong end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit wrong. Five points towards becoming free. I'm rushing it. No worries. Oh, autonomy may soon be lowered. Why? My first division is landing in South Africa in about a week. <laughs> Very like good. One, demote. I don't want to demote. Two, maybe three three days that should be. Luxembourg? Dead. Okay, Luxembourg, you may move to my territory. You're annoying me. Just come on over. The Netherlands have still haven't nice capitulated. <laughs> Amsterdam has just fallen. Netherlands there has capitulated. Go. That's that. Yeah, so I'm going to declare my war against Portugal, and we'll see where that where they go. leads us. I'm going to call my allies, and that's that. Okay, I accept. Well, they are still non-aligned. At the moment, yes. But it's 100% war attention. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. Uh, call to yeah, arms. Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. Distribute, take back the country. Oops. German interest in Scandinavia. Didn't we have that already? Well, now we have it again. Who cares? Okay. Denmark, 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 Denmark is the allies. Okay, I, Norway joins the allies. I can't get the Americans to join our war against Portugal. 
That's okay. Nope. So it's far, it's offensive war. They don't do that. So far, we're doing okay. The Russians just push. That would be so nice. No, they're not pushing enough. My thirty-six divisions are doing their job. Seems to be holding now. Oh yeah, two hundred forty days. I'm actually gaining infantry equipment plus twenty-four per day. Glorious. I have 14 factories working on that now. It's just gonna get more and more. It's gonna get more. more. Gonna get more. Gonna get more. Put out some radar. Elections again. are held in Australia. Our elections will be held as usual. I'm not afraid that that change anything. Usual for you. For me, yeah. Uh... Mm hmm. So my division slowly approached the border. Let's just do that for now. Oh, maybe they should go as well. I do have some close air support. I could actually use those guys if there was an airport anywhere. Calling there is allies. Not. Hmm. The US really doesn't li seems likely to join the war against Portugal. No. But then again, like so far, like the only problem is we'll probably not be able to win the war because we'd have to um, actually take Lisbon. Yep. Yeah, and before yeah. you do that, they might join the Allies. Yeah. That would be interesting. I want to see the US fight the Allies. <laughs> the problem is they have this, this little Portuguese thing, Portuguese Guinea. So they do have ports that connect them to their territory down there. They could reinvade if they wanted. If that wasn't for Guinea, they wouldn't be able to reach. And if you take that, well, then they can reach from Portugal to take it back. You know? Yeah. True. Well, that, that's kind of a double problem there. But not one that will stump us forever. We'll just take their holdings in Africa and sit on them for a while. Well, the Germans are approaching Moscow. If they actually take the Soviet Union, this will be a freaking war. <laughs> yeah, because the Allied war, war, right? Anything to throw up against. The German Soviet war is a separate war. Yes, it is. With French commune, no, UK and, and India and so on is in there as well. Okay, so it's not like take Moscow and um, the thing is over, but you know, it's also not really good. South African Portuguese war is going 100% in favor of aggressors. Yeah, you but the monster. war is over when the Soviet <laughs> Union the, uh, uh, capitulates. <clears throat> well, yeah, then they would have a huge territory up there, but that still doesn't give them all the sovereignty they need. If that would actually be a peace conference and they wouldn't need to worry about it, that's a different story. That's true as well. Because that would take the whole faction thing out of the war, but as it is right now, yeah, let them capitulate. Doesn't really help. Well, either way. Can I cut them off here? That would be cool. There's two fronts. Time soon. Well, they're trying. The Chinese have tanks! I don't even have tanks. <laughs> I want tanks. <laughs> the Chinese have tanks. Tanks. I get well, Marines. Cool. We, we have one Australian tank. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's a sorry, South African yeah. tank. That was yeah. really, really bad. Ah, crap, yeah, I was slow, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was even worse. <laughs> I was very slow. <laughs> and you go when you're ready. Because then I can build a harbor in this that? province. Um, hmm. Indian gentlemen officers. Right. Do, do I have to call them Sir General now or what? Yep. Well, get motorized research for them first. Fall of Leningrad. See, that's not good. It's, not it's really, no. Well, I can grab my marines over here and take this little Portugal province up there as well. Uh, so far they really haven't joined anything. How about you join us now? Nope. I'm throwing back the Japanese. 
<laughs> you want to throw back the Japanese? There's only three divisions down here. Are you kidding me? Okay, I have just created the People's Republic of Mozambique, which I am the overlord of. Oh, you did? <laughs> I did indeed. There's still a little bit of Portugal left though there on the heart. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm going to get that. You're working on that, okay. Interesting. That might have to do with your focus there. Liberating yeah, yeah. African that, states. That, that was definitely part of the um Sevastopol has fallen. This is fast. It's Remember when I said this yeah. naval invasion isn't going anywhere? They've actually taken all of the things there. But oh, wow. the, Jap the Japanese have some problems there. Ah, oh, crap. Ooh, I'm missing resources. That never happened. What am I missing? Steel. US, give me steel. Thank you. Need more steel. Our second production line of infantry equipment is coming up. Nice. I am gaining Very infantry nice. equipment. I'm down to minus 13,000. That's the production coming along. The harbor should be done on 25th of November. So those yeah, troops shouldn't be starving to death anymore. And I'm wondering what the protection of the Dutch colonies will give me. I need marines, I need to go to Japan. Denmark, Denmark has capitulated. capitulated. Mm-hmm. Shut it first. <laughs> Some sort of Portugal is spreading there again. No, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> The Netherlands could see it and as... they've completely, they're completely pushed out of uh, Angola. I just need, uh, how, do, how do I get in there? Hmm. That seems okay. Sort of. Very nice. I have a puppet now. You have a puppet? Yep. Dutch East Indies are now my puppet. Interesting. That should give you some troops and stuff. We'll, we'll, we will see, won't we? It's too far. Well, actually, I'm doing like this. Come back over here. <clears throat> yeah, let's go tanks. Harbor is done. You could come so, over here as well. Should probably set up some support equipment stuff. I already have that. Come over here, that's good. Dutch East Indies have joined this war. Perfect. What can I do with the East Indies? Not much. Request You can ask them to give you troops, right? You should be able to. Request forces. Yeah, that would basically tell them to give you all their armies. Yep. You can't really design them, but you can use them as they are. They don't really have a lot of armies, though. Three oh, divisions. Sure. 30 days for 1942 technology, I take that. But I actually give you territory here. Bye, Japan. You're getting pushed back into the sea. So nice. So I don't have to deal with the Small uprising there. Right? That's good. Five divisions, interesting. Research first step of raid. Ugh, why did I do that? You're stupid. Yep. Didn't mean you. <laughs> I've um, established I'm that over and over again. Crusader! Sort of true, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Mm, sometimes I do. Sometimes you don't. <clears throat> You're still not out of the affection? <laughs> Ugh. What are you talking about, even? We cannot help you that way. <clears throat> you no, know, but I can fight you if I have to. <laughs> 105 points towards being free, so it's just another 900. How's the military went? Oh, I'm getting power. So how many C zones would that? Be oh yeah, I'm democratic now, right? That thing is gone. Oh, um, that's so good. Benelin, you need to Should build a harbor in Angola, otherwise your troop there will starve to death. Uh, I'm trying to get it out. You can't if you don't have a harbor there, so you need to build a harbor to get your troop out. That's not gonna happen. Bye-bye! <laughs> 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 well, then disband it. You get a part of the material back, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that thing. Well, just attack. Just attack that harbor from the other yes. side. And now we have the Democratic People's Republic of Angola as well. Very Which nice. is your puppet, right? Which is also my puppet. Hmm. Everybody's puppeting. Every day I'm puppeting. <laughs> Could you not, please? <laughs> <laughs> just. Every just day don't. I'm shuffling. Alright, alright. Clamp down on corruption, finally get that famine thing away. Thank you. Soon, I hope. Oh, I am at war, can I can we... change stuff. I forgot. Push those guys back that's to the harbor. Yes, small. that's a harbor. Minus 9,000 equipment, this is going well. Oh, uh, where is my navy? Sort of. My navy need to come over here. And... Can I station them in your harbor? That's the big question here. I can. Your allies, you should be able to if there's not already a force in there that's blocking it. But my question is now, can my navy have a bit of bigger territory now? It still counts. Angola is their home harbor. US has troops in Liberia? No, that's not the US. It just looks similar. So why can't I do anything in this area? In the Gulf of Gui 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 Guinea. 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 Well, yeah. Screw you guys. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I maybe need to wait till the ships is actually are actually over there. That's the thing. What if I put them in this harbor here? Get this city. Tell them. It's not looking too bad. It's just looking bad. I had them all trained and some of them are already green. So I guess I lost quite a bit of manpower there. So whatever this risk of famine is, that's going to go away soon. It's okay, that's not working out. I don't know what to do with this agrarian society thing. Another look here since nothing's happening except we're fighting a war. Oh, actually, don't I have a higher level harbor somewhere? Over here. Um, I fought another bug. If you can get... Sea domination in the Gulf of Guinea and what was the other one called? Cap Verde Plain. I can start my naval invasion of this Portuguese enclave up there with my three ships. I yeah. can... Well, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Sorry. Four ships. Four ships. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, oh, my that's... information was outdated. Very um... nice. Do that next. I won't be able to. I don't have range. You don't have range? Crap. I can do Guinea, but nothing else. Mm, that doesn't really help us. Nope. It does not. I actually have one of those continuous focuses that increases my autonomy. <laughs> very nice. I think I'm gonna go and do that. In a I just don't while. have the range, which is very disappointing. Oh wow, I'm, I'm losing against these guys. That's not good. Very, very disappointing. So you don't need really, you don't really need to get there, my marines. Yeah. You can kind of stay push over back. here. Pretty much pushed back there. Japan really pushed back the Russian advance there. And currently, they're pushing back me, which is even worse. I need to stop that. Everybody down here. You just come also back. What she then. said, I know. Ba ba ba. So who balance. is not live delivering? The Soviet Union is not delivering That's its not oil to me. Kind yeah, of same here. Well, I get it from the United <coughs> States then. We're allied with the United States, so they should send it to us. With yeah. no questions asked. Construction 4. Thank you. In 41. That's perfect. I wanted to change over Efficiency something camp. in yes, here. Yes, please. Screen. Um, carrier screen. I'm not building if carriers. I build a different ship. I might be Long able to. to like, this. this is gonna take years, probably. But <laughs> I don't even have any other ships to build. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm stuck here. <laughs> You're kind of stuck there at the moment. Yeah, I could. Uh... 
I'm still at ship class one stuff. I need to, to research ships as well. Oh, wow. I have a couple of dockyards, building that stuff up. Building up military factories at the moment, though. Well, I'm low on manpower now. That's also not good. <laughs> Welcome to How the club! How did you manage that? <laughs> well, I had 800,000. I'm down to 100,000 now. It's because I'm fighting the Japanese. We do need more steel. Get one more fab come, fabric. One more. Yeah, I've lost 722,000 men. Very nice. 15% war contribution. 15%. Then the next one in list is 75, Soviet Union. So 10% for all of the rest, including the UK. Yeah, crappy allies. Intervention in the Benelux. Intervention. Yeah, that's, that's a one bit of those late. Focus things that they don't need. It's a little bit late for that. So where could I go to actually land there? If I would station my ships over here. Yeah, so I'm currently researching submarines so that I may, in the future, possibly um, can cover that sea tile. I'm looking if I can cover the, those three sea zones over here. Which would be nice. So we could start. Terra leader cost minus 50%, whatever. Starting level of new leaders plus one is also cool, but I already have too many leaders, so who needs that? And I don't have any of this, so. It's autonomy. Let's see what happens. Right, so I'm also going to research battle cruisers, cool. not that that's going to do anything. How much are we getting now? US really don't want to join our war. I'm not exporting to Overlord anymore, that's the thing. Come on, there's 51 troops at the border, you will be able to push the Japanese. Are you kidding me? So where the hell is my fleet at? Just can you, um... Just don't... Do you need, like, fleet basing rights from me or something, or can you do that anyway? I, I can do that anyway. I also can base my fleet in over here. That's quite weird. In Angola. But I don't get the territory, which is weird. I'm pushing, I'm pushing into Nanjing now. Look at that. I mean, if my fleet is in Angola, it should be possible no, to cover the whole Guinea Sea and not just <laughs> south part of it. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm Nine currently Guinea. improving relations with the French commune. I might actually get... Um, military access through them. Ah, the then we could the only problem is we still need to go through Belgium. <laughs> That's good for now. Okay, so I have military access through the French yeah, commune. I should have that. Yes, I have that. Ha! Motorized research! Well, Two if, days. if you build a harbor in Angola, you can ship around the Belgium territory and walk and through there. Fastest motorized research I, ever. There's not even space for one, I think. Yeah, there is. You can build harbors in every province. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, just give me one second. No worries. I, I rarely had to do this, so... Yeah. It's really weird. I'm stationed here, but I can't do anything. Maybe it's so because it's it. not from your harbor? Maybe I need to get to this harbor down 26th here? 26th of May, oh. I can do it. So, let's see. No need to hurry, no need to hurry. Oh, wait, there is a um, Portuguese oh, island, Sao Tome. In the middle we can there. do an invasion there. Cap Verde? No, Sao Tome. Uh, it's right beneath the... Uh, it's like in the, the little nook of Africa. Oh, yeah, there it is. They have three troops there. Okay, so you need marines over there, huh? Uh, I don't have marines. Do you? I have. Uh, do you want to do the invasion then? I'm going to do the invasion. Because that might actually let us get to... Um, <laughs> but get I don't have the sea tile. coverage there, so sure, it needs to be not? your fleet to do that. Oh yeah, my, my fleet is covering that sea tile, so you should be, you should be safe to land in, uh, in South Tome. Still... Oops, sorry. Um, I still don't get the sea coverage, which is very, very, very weird. I don't know what the problem there is, to be honest. Whoa, 60% towards the tank, heavy tank. 
Ah, huh, wait, I can get to Cabarda now. For whatever reason. I don't even know what I did. I With your ship? So um, I should... I'm, I'm doing my invasion now. Let's see if that works. To Cap Verde. Perfect. My marines no, I'm are actually still going up. I'm actually going up to Portuguese Guinea. I, for some reason, got the coverage. So I'm trying it. Where's Portuguese Guinea? Oh, it's the, the top there. Oh, yeah. I cannot. Hmm. Sad. Yeah, my marines are on the way anyways. <laughs> they can, so why shouldn't they? Exactly. So I'm just hoping that there is no troops stationed in Portuguese, Portuguese Guinea. Well, they don't kill your troops. They just send them back. If they get a post and can't land, they'll be sent back. Okay, Can't change my conscription laws. What what laws? <laughs> Can't change my conscription laws. I can do go da, to war. Do oh, do they? Invest in victory. I'm doing right now, which will reduce the effects of depression by five percent, and gives me actually the national unity. Down to 9,000 free manpower. Very nice. Yeah! That's what the Japanese said when I pulled away from their borders. But you're still not able to join our faction, right? You're still part of the no, other faction. No, That will take some time. Well, it's the end of the episode anyway. Ah, well, that's what you say. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't mean we have to believe you. The Soviets hmm. stopped the Germans quite nicely in front of Moscow. Looks like it at least. But yeah, I'm gonna hit pause and let Bendelin take us home. Oh, me again. Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thanks for watching again. I, I suppose you may subscribe to uh, either of these lads' channels if you so desire and like their videos and all of those things. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye -bye. See you soon. See ya.